All right. This is after we just whooped Indianapolis' ass, 49 0 in Indy. Um, take on the Commanders today. The amount of rushing yards we have against the Commanders is how much XP this team will get. Hmm. Looks like we're going to run the football today. Trey Weatherspoon. Not Witherspoon, Weatherspoon. Usually, these guys always suck. Let's look at some scouting here, shall we? Let's see this Trey Weatherspoon guy. Yeah. You know what? Why don't we make him a focus player? Because why the hell not? They want him. Front office wants me to look at him, then I will. He looks pretty good. Trading up a lot for that guy, though, if I want him. Daryl Samuels. Free safety looks pretty good, too. I mean, Marcus Patterson. Safety looks pretty good, too. These safeties look very... Very safety like. I think I'm gonna put it on either of these safeties up here. I mean, Daryl Samuels, you can't beat that. We'll do it like this. Make that quick to get to our weekly strategy and get into our game here. Damien Samuel's gonna be a star. Had a hidden dev and revealed it, I think, a few weeks ago. Got a few upgrades for our players here. And this is gonna be one for Michael Carter. We'll give him a power back upgrade. That's what we're working with. 88 speed. He feels a lot faster than 88 speed, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like sometimes slower running backs feel faster than actual speedy running backs. We got a Monday night primetime game here in Washington. This defensive line we're going up against on the interior. A little scary. Hopefully Dak doesn't get hit by fans falling from the stadium while running into the tunnel. The railing doesn't break. And the commanders will start with the football here. Brandon Aubrey. Giving it to Washington here. FedEx Stadium. One of the worst stadiums in the league. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback. Here we go with it now. Sam Howe. Leading this commander's offense. Jeremy Chan almost gets there. He gives his home a check down to Everett. Last time we played, the Commanders was at home. We beat them. Tyron Smith got injured. Yeah. Donovan Wilson will tackle him. We'll go for that after the tackle. That's one of my favorite players on this Cowboys defense, is Donovan Wilson. He's just a very now underrated player. And Marcus Bell will get routed up by Gerald Everett. It'll be a first down for the Commanders. This Commander offense already moving the ball better than the Colts did with four quarters. Diggs is coming up from downfield, gets stiff armed. And it'll get pushed out of bounds after getting the first down. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. That'll be a false and start on the left guard. The snap. Man, this will be our first Flinched early. Backing him up five. Do you think that perhaps 
the play call was for him. An RPO to the outside. And that'll be a no yard gain there for Terry. Jared Crocker on that tackle. It's Hal with another throw. Robinson Can't get there. Get He'll take a shot by Donovan there. The run to set up third the and two, 13 yard. Wanda and Robinson reception there. The just across they midfield they here the now. And they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air third on the two. opening drive. Third and two, here's Hal. He'll break two tackles and Donovan Wilson will only attempt to play his position. That's the point of strong safety to support. You know what? It's okay. Just a huge mistake on this Dallas defense. Commanders capitalize. He jumps up and gets that football. And yeah, he's going to get a yard over 25. Unless you do a lot of read options today. Really test this commander's defense. The two best players on this defense are on the interior of this line. So if we run it to the outside and throw it and run away from him, make a right success. <laughs> they also got strong safety camp crew, and out. there's Jonathan Allen. Give now, Dylan Nate. That'll be picked off. And that's going to be a pick six for these commanders. Jartavius Martin for six. We're going to be starting 0 14 here now. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14 0 first quarter lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Look at the ball back here. Down two scores now after that. This Huge mistake. What a good return there. Out of the 32. Good. They have full Position momentum here. Start at the 32. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas yeah, Cowboys. Yeah, this ball. They've been ball moving early, now. No question. Down 14, nothing already. As they come up first and 10. I should have took the outside on that. Just short of the 45 at the Michael Carter's going to rush for 10. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Zach Martin is back today. Prescott to throw it. Rolling to Looking at right. that. They'll check this one down to Carter. Carter got a two-yard gain there. Zach's first completion down. of the game. These two teams you might remember met earlier in the year in Arlington with the Cowboys winning that ball game. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. That is nearly intercepted again. Wow, that ball came out a little awkward there. Nearly picked off. Let's get to Jake Ferguson and he'll be batted down. Jake Manners will get this football back. Fair catch called for right ball at the 12 there for the Commanders. Here so comes this Commanders offense, up 14. Let's see what they do here. With the, we need a turnover. And that ball cannot get out due to the pressure of Marcus Lawrence there. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that. And line. Brian will have a huge the seam up the middle there. And short of the sticks. And he almost He'll rush for a good chunk of yardage. About a yard shy. Jared Crocker in the game now for this Dallas defense. Play fake, and now here's how to throw it. 
Diggs will be there. We got to gain a five on that. Send some more blitzes. I feel like we don't blitz enough on this Dallas defense. We'll come down hill with Donovan Wilson. And how will throw it? And the blitz will get to him. Jeremy Chin. If you would have got that ball out to his running back there, that would have been a huge play, I think. The blitz worked to perfection. Jeremy Chin got up in Sam Miles' face. Third and 12 now here. Running run zone here. I'm going to stop him here, get the ball back. Now how? It'll be a throw away, and we will stop him. Fourth and 12 now for this commander's team. That could be the stop this defense needed to get that yeah, that's what we need. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Trevante Peoples looking to do what he does. Fall forward for a few yards. They'll come out here and make a statement now on the ground. We had to get five yards, seven yards after the push. Wow. Solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A give up the middle to Carter. And he'll get up near the four. Get blasted at the end there by Cam Curl. We could hold on to that. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Audible play here. Throwing. Prescott. That'll be picked up by Cam Curl. Ooh. He'll drop it. Well, fortunate to retain possession. We are lucky. Second down. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. Carter will get wrapped up for two yards there. We just got to get this ball on the other side of the territory. That'll be picked off again. Same guy. He'll be down at the one. We're struggling. After the interception, a quick change in the situation here. Commanders have it at the one here. Powell. To the end zone. Throwing at Diggs' feet. That'll be an incompletion. This is almost a spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal, trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. And Brown Robinson will find that one yard. Rushing for Brian Robinson Jr. with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Fairbairn up and Zero to 21 here in Washington. Chris Dale. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn. He's looking to get something going here. Dak Prescott and his Cowboys. This game's not over. Not even close to being over. Two interceptions, one completion, two yards. Looking like Anthony Richardson's numbers from last week. We score, we get the ball back. At halftime, that's the best scenario. If we get this ball back, I think. I think we're back in this football game. Here's There's just nowhere to go. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. Zach Martin can't do anything with Jonathan Allen. Except for the line here, nine yards to pick up the first. That's nearly picked off again. Deontay Johnson will hold that in. And he will have and I'm gonna run the hurry up. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Prescott sliding out of the pocket on the run. And Dak will overthrow Michael side. Carter on the oh, throw he, he usually connects with. Just one of those one of those games today. 
Second and ten, the Dallas 35 now. Carter will try the right side. Nowhere to go. Once again. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to secure catch that. Down. He's just not going to hold on to it. And that's going to be incomplete. He'll just take a shot, and that'll be fourth down. Good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And we'll get right back to the coming in. Fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Fair catch made Take a fair catch. They got three minutes line. to move this football. So the change of possession here on the punt. Well. And the commanders will take over with oh, a first and defense. We need a forced turnover here. We need one badly. Faking the handoff. Howell. Jeremy Chin, just a millisecond behind that. That's a first down for these commanders. Nearly picked off. Just a step behind. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. And that'll be a throw out of bounds. Left sideline falls incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to We're force it in there. Some heat Game speed now. always different no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can And the ball off bounces off. Just. Helmet to Brian Robinson's hands. And guess what? It brings up third down. That'll be the two-minute warning. There, so third and six the for this commander's offense here. We're looking football. to get this stop here. Third and seven. I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one this in Orlando, big the coach. Right He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. And they'll get it. And more. Wow. Breaking tackles left and right. They'll get it way across midfield with that play. Minute 53 to go here in this game. Brown Robinson will break a few more. Second and one. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Looking to throw again. Checks it underneath the lane for two more broken tackles, and he'll run out of bounds. This is just a disaster performance here. Back to throw. Howell. He'll throw it underneath. Go down to the one here. Up two. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Creeping up on a minute to play. Go to this, this clock. Second down and a run by Robinson. Give him two down to the one. Sets him up first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the defense. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Robinson. That'll be a pitch to the outside for six more points. Washington. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Powerful Four score game here for the commanders. Head. Chest to chest, driving forward. Touchdown. We're looking to get something going. So after here. the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football. No, right we're going there. The yard line. Down the Cowboy down offense to is going to head out now late in this first half. We're going to look to move this football to the end. I think they'd love to get back to the locker room. They may be forced to try and get something out of the Dak will deliver to Deontay Johnson. Huge play there. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Prescott looks to throw on first. Jake Ferguson will get that. That's Ferguson. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Got the Johnson over the middle there. Get that in his hands. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. We're looking to get this ball in the end zone. 
A first down throw for Prescott. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around 30. Over, no One thing we couldn't afford to, the and this to get sacked. Contest. We got sacked. Welcome back, Charles and I. We get the ball here, though. Let's see if we can make a statement. It's the Cowboys who get the football first. See if we can and turn this around. As well as we resume action in the third quarter. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he turn dropped it to 23. Comes back after. Out come the Cowboys oh, now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's and Michael to Carter does not want to run. You know I don't know what the fuck he was doing. They're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always he can't hold on to the football. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes And impossible. Jake Ferguson doesn't move towards the ball. He doesn't see it. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game. I'm just trying to run it here. jitters are long gone. That they should now have some sense we will, of Jonathan Allison stops that in the tracks. That they have not been doing I don't so even know how he's even close to getting to that. Play action now, Prescott. Gonna take a shot for Gallup. And Dak cannot put the ball over Emmanuel Forbes back. That's just a terrible play. He, he needs to throw that ball from the front of Michael Gallup. And that one winds up incomplete. He holds on. This ball's getting moved a little bit better here now. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. They'll roll him out right. And Michael Gallup is going to run away from the football. And that'll be the game. This game is over. Michael Gallup. Does Certainly not want to play a football. Better for them in this half, aren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half. This carried over with an interception to begin the second half. I mean, that's a defeated offense right there. And there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today. Like, what the hell is he doing? I'm going to put in Anthony Schwartz. I think. Or at least somebody. Somebody's gonna start him. He's getting. He's getting benched. He's not getting benched. He's just losing his receiver, two or three spot. I think he's receiver three. Here's Hal. And Deron Bland's gonna jump up and pick that off. That is what we needed. Turnover. Now we're gonna try this again. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there. Completion there. Luckily not to be intercepted. Prescott now on second down. And there's nowhere to go with that ball. That's Threw it away. Right sideline, and it falls incomplete. I mean, these receivers aren't just are not coming to play. Well, Deontay Johnson. And Dak cannot put it over his head. This is just a terrible performance. Well, this is it right here. If we can't get anything here, this is... And took away a big shot that you were trying to see. And so it's thrown. Meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. And good Brown job. Robinson, three yard rush there. One tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. And they'll come up second and seven. 
They'll go play action. Howell. It's complete to Robinson. First down, also because it was going to go down with the shoulder injury, it looks like. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now throwing on first down here. Donovan Wilson will read that. He will get the feet and bounce. And the ball is going to be on the other way. Thank God. We're going to look to move this football now, hopefully. Can he put the ball on the money? It's still underthrown, but... He can actually come up with a big shot there. Also, Digazua tore his labrum. That's great. We're going to look to finally get in the end zone here, hopefully. And he overthrows Deontay Johnson for a touchdown pass. Wow. This is just terrible performance from Dak. It's just awful. And that's the pick. Mando Forbes is there. I mean, the shit wouldn't have to happen if we just dropped the ball. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. So now Charles, we could make a throw. And uh, not going to be able to get there. Huge gain. Commanders are across midfield now. No, just, just barely. Five yards on the play, and we're going to switch our attack to aggressive. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Steps away to his left. And Sam Howell's going to scramble for 15. And he picks up the first on that play. A solid gain of they are going to shut us out. So Four turnovers for Dak. They the just... On this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Howell now to throw it. And it's Dark incomplete. Dark McCoy's going to drop that football. Drop many like that one. Second down. We need another turnover. We're asking for a lot, but we need another one. a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that And we'll get it. There's Jeremy Chin there. Cannot get to the outside to take it upfield, though. That's big. This game is probably already over, but... Make it look less bad. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. A great protection. And he just can't throw that football. Like, get rid of it. Throw it. You don't got to cock it back that long. Good God. And he can't hit Deontay Johnson. And that's going to do it for Dak. His game's over today. Cooper Rush is going to drop a dime into Deontay Johnson's hands. It's almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. Cam Curl is going to make an amazing play. Let's throw underneath. It's open there. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Play fake. Here's Rush. Ben Hendershot's going to receive that. We'll go to bounce. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 
We're actually getting the ball moving here, surprisingly, if Cooper Rush backs out. Good play action here. We'll roll out. There's really nowhere to go with this football. We'll take the shot out of bounds. Cooper Rush scrambles for seven. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. To throw is Rush. To Jake Ferguson. Touchdown, Dallas. That'll be the first score of the game there. With an amazing diving catch. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. They'll try and throw for it. And he'll get it. Wow. I did not think he got a Jake Ferguson connection. And we give it back to the commanders here with six minutes to go in the game. Who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a line that gets benched? Keeper rush comes in, scores on the first drive. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. So here is Washington now to take over. They've won two straight and they leave this, this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Yeah, this will be Second a five here for the commanders. The five yard rush. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take yeah, it Two down. backup Definitely defensive tackles in, so. This point, right? continue to the Don't know how this is going to get. Chauncey Golson's going to be there. A huge tackle for Los Gamiya did that the most. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Right They'll be out to make that play, Jared Crocker. It's a so huge play. Here for no game. Punt it away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. We'll get it here. Looking to make a return. And we'll see what he can do on the return. It's a 45-yard punt, six time. yards on six the return. Yards. And they yeah. will take over first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. This one certainly has not gone according to script. You would have thought on paper that this to give here. would have its way here, but they certainly have not, and they trail big. And held on to it too long. This, it figures to be a quiet trip home. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Rush on second down. And that'll be an absolute dot to Deontay Johnson. And that's going to be six. That's a crazy throw. And he stays up on his feet. Unbelievable throw from Cooper Rush. Wow. I'm never doing a QB draw with Rush. Balluting the pressure right. Yeah, it's broken up. They don't get the two point conversion here. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And this is going to be. Oh, and they recover it. Fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football. That ball was out. That's unfortunate. I know we analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some roll. Huge hits, but it just doesn't matter. The ball won't pop out. We got ball security. We don't shoot this clock. Now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. First down, how to throw. No the ball comes out. Mike is going to get on it. And he can't go with it, though. That's a huge play, though, for this Cowboys team. I wish he got up and returned that. It's unfortunate. Pretty much got out of bounds here. Diggs gets his hands in his face mask on the sideline. I don't know how that's not a flag. Jesus. What the hell? Here's Rush to throw. You'll find Deontay Johnson over the middle there. We're starting to get momentum here. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Hurry up offense. First down now for Rush. 
And just out of the reach of Deontay Johnson. Second miss throw of the game. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Nowhere to go with the football there. They sack him back at the 36. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Another absolute dot to Deontay Johnson. So we get the ball for the two minute warning here. Here is the tackles made at Washington's 12 yard line. Out of the shotgun rush. Cooper Rush takes a stick. And he's going to take a huge hit. Holy shit. But he's going to get in that end zone. It's now a one point or one score game. Dak's going to hold that kick for him. We're going to try this on side. Interesting here in this fourth quarter. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. And that is not going to matter. We're going to get there. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run. Good first down play. So fresh out of the two minutes. We call timeout. Another timeout taken. With 155 remaining. This in all probability another run here on second and eight. He's gonna get it again. Damian Samuel's gonna come down and get the ball. The Cowboys hand on that. Third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Powell throwing on third down here. And we're going to sack him. Micah Parsons is a huge play in this game. And they're going to give us the ball right back. We nearly get there. Wow. And here we go. We have a minute and seven seconds to work with here. So now Rush and the Cowboys. Down 28 21, a minute seven remaining. Their long win streak in great peril. That's going to be a huge play to start the game right there, start that drive. Near midfield at the 49. Just almost across midfield here now after that play. Here's Rush. Have to check it down with Michael Carter and get out of bounds here. And we do. Five yard gain. You a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're headed to chains now. Michael Gallup can't hold on. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, does it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he's thirty five here now. But in this situation, I know as a defender. And Cooper Rush cannot connect with Deontay Johnson on the long shot. And can't hold on. That's the game. With such little time remaining, and the commanders come through with a fourth down stand. That sucks. Well, taking that knee, maybe just it really a does. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on. We almost just came back and won that football game. Way, Down four quarter. scores in the fourth on. quarter. As you said, furious assault on them. But that would have been. Get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. So a victory here for the commanders. Would have been crazy, not gonna lie. That would have been the best Madden game of my life to come back from that. That's enough to carry them to victory. But we can uh, hold on to the football. And Jake Ferguson gets an upgrade for losing us that football game. Oh, yeah. Hope you got holding on to the football. On fourth and five upgrade um yeah but 
That's a disappointing loss to an under 500 team, I think. That was. Uh, yeah. We'll play the Bengals next week, and we got one new injury. Tyron Smith out 24. CD Lamb should be back next week. Osa towards Labram. And Mozzie Smith towards Labram. So all of our defensive tackles are gone. So it'll be fun stopping Joe Mixon and the Spangles team next week.